that down here so I can get get to my quailies. I'm gonna get these guys fed and watered before we need more rain. Hi baby. You guys got water. Let's see how you Yeah, he's doing better. So it looks like rain, huh? Tut tut, looks like rain. Isn't that what they said in the Winnie the Pooh movie? Tut tut. Oh, I don't know. Tut tut, looks like rain. That's what Re Christopher Robin used to say. Get his umbrella out. Alright, and then more eggs, girls. So why don't the chickens get wet in the rain? Why don't the chickens cross the wet road? I don't know. To get to the other drier side, I guess. Why don't their wings get wet? Ooh, the, the chickens, chickens or the quail? The, all of the birds. Because they're dry. They're under a roof. Everybody looking good over here. No eggs. Somebody's been eating zucchini. They had some zucchini today. Okay, you guys got food in there. And your water, pretty low. Uh oh, Prunella almost got you rained almost on. Almost got rained on, Prunie. <laughs> oh, hi, Gabe. Little rad. I noticed these two roosters hang together. Check around for eggs. The Easter egg hunt for me. Oh, there's one over here, I think. Can you get that one? Because my hands. And then away. Trying to get water for the oil. So how much do those water things cost? These? Yeah. They're about four or five dollars. Oh, that's not bad. And then you hang them up. They're they're mainly made for chicks, but I use them for the quail and the chicks and whatever else I have in hand. Hey, there was a black cat that's been running around. He's over there now. He's big and fat. Gotta I be bad luck. He's black. No, he's not bad luck. He's good luck. I wouldn't say he's good luck. Yeah, he's... Well, I, I thought at first it was that other cat that used to hang around, but it's not. This guy's fatter. Fatter cat? He's old and fat. Here, babies. These guys are so friendly. Just so friendly. Hey babies, how you doing? They've got to eat down that mash so I can start giving you the... Well... How long before these guys go to the barn for the winter? These guys? As soon as I'm done selling and butchering the ones inside. Then these guys go in. It'll be before uh, the end of September, anyways. I oh, got well another they... month outside. Okay. They're fine. Well, the first sign of the weather looking a little different, well, you start if it to gets, think. If it starts getting wet and cold all the time, then I'll change it. You can't let them be cold all the time. Okay, we're going into the barn? Yep. The, okay. I'm going to take this scoop with me. I got the pan. I brought a pan. Oh, 
pan out. Well, I brought the egg basket with me. Because <laughs> you didn't think I'd come out, huh? I didn't think you'd come out. Make sure you get that door closed ready. The guineas will be right out. And there's two chickens on the house to God. And you guys want something. I don't know why. You guys got food, I think. Okay, take, should I take these ladies off the nest again? Yep, take the ladies off. Okay, honey. You know better. Because I'm sorry. You have to go outside. It's... Give us some eggs. Fulfill your purpose in life, dear. Oh, there's a, there's a couple eggs. Come on, you gotta go outside now. There you Well, I don't like to do this. But, I'm gonna have to put the pan on the floor. This egg's a guinea hen egg. It's not even her egg. And a regular chicken egg. You know, she's outside. And... Here we go. Okay, dear. You know that it's that time. Ooh, she's crabby. Now, come on. Time to get up that nest. I know. I know. Don't be crabby. Okay. Go on. Outside. She was cranky. See, she doesn't like to get up the nest. Go on outside, honey. This isn't the place for chickens. Go on. Go on, sweetie. Go outside. You're not even sitting on an egg. Oh, I got one chicken egg, and she was not happy to come off that nest. She wouldn't give me the egg, huh? There was no egg. She was just a brawl, she. Can you open the door? Saturday, I'm going to wet them down and... Lower their body temperature and see how they how that works. Okay, are we down in the back barn? Down back there, yep. They're food. They have their food and water. Okay. Sorry, girls. Now we have done the separating them before, where we put them in the cage alone. Yeah, but it takes so long to get them over their broodiness that way. Oh, she's on her way back in. Yeah, I've got to pick up a she's of mash of uh, corn and oats this week for those silkies. Well, we get... Everybody's been pretty much eating it. Got to give the mom and the baby some. Okay. Check the dog while you're over there. I checked him earlier, but check him again. Yeah, check him. He'd be barking his head off if he was... I know, that's one nice thing about the dog. He does tell us... food. <laughs> okay, let's see what you got here. So, I hey, I want to show you something. I don't know what he's doing over here. He dug a huge hole. Yeah, see, he doesn't want to get rained on. <laughs> so he's sitting in his house. Uh, he's afraid of thunder. Like oh, that's right. I forgot. Do you see what he did? He dug a big old hole by his desk. Dear. He did what? Look at this. Oh, he's had that big hole there. Oh, maybe just the green he in there it. He lays in there when it's uh, hot. Huh. Like no, it. I'm talking about this hole. Yeah, on the cool ground. Okay. He's had that dug in there. I just missed that. Well, he's... He's got some food in there. He's yeah, got, he's just hanging out. He, that's right, I forgot. He's he just, afraid of thunder and lightning. That's why he's hiding in there. Okay. He's I a big scaredy box when it comes to those thunder and lightning stones. Okay, girls. Tomatoes. I'll look real quick. I just don't want to get caught in a rainstorm. Starts coming down. We're <laughs> like three miles from the house, so <laughs> with the walk out here. All right. Well, take... we can skip the tomatoes today no, if we, we think we need nice to. No, we got some nice ripe ones that need to be picked because it was hot today. Put them in the egg basket, and then I'll just wash them all. I gotta wash all this anyway. 
Let's look at the ones that are right. <coughs> I'll tell you, those tomato sandwiches are to die for, aren't they? This one's be right by tomorrow. Some of these are raping up good. This one's ready. I really liked having the garden out here this year. It was a big difference. It had a little bit of shade. That's got some pink on the bottom. That'll go another day. This one fell off the vine. I found it, so I'm going to bring that into uh, ripen. I'm glad we naturally. I, um, so okay, so you were saying you like doing I the, like garden, the back garden here. I like the garden out here because it didn't have um, just direct sun because there was some shady times too. Yeah. And it was better for the garden, I think. Okay. I think that might be it for the tomatoes that are ripening. A lot of them still ripening, though. Well, we might as well go in then. Now There's me, some from yesterday and today. Let me check those over there, though. The okay. One's hanging here. Looks like there's one's on the bottom of that last bucket, too. Yeah, but it's not quite Are right. we going to bring in any of these full jalapenos today? Uh, no. I'm going to wait. This weekend, I want to take and uh, make those. Try to make some of those poppers. This one's down in the future. Not ruined anyway, so I'll just pick it out of there so the rain will wash it off. Jalapeno is a really nice size though. Look at the size of that in my hand. They're gonna make some nice jalapeno poppers. Oh that's right. We have all the goodies for that. Hopefully this weekend, right? Yeah, I gotta do them in two stages so I can show it all on one video. I'm gonna have to cut them, stuff them, and roll them, show them the finished product, and then show. Anything happening on this deal? I don't see any ears of corn, but the beans are growing up. I'm like Great. using the corn for stalks, so trellis it. So that's good. But you never know unless you try, right? Well, I think. Next year, I'll do. I'll start them a little earlier. Uh huh. See, and I started everything else Mother's Day, and you can see we're still harvesting. Oh, oh look at those clouds! Looks well. We had the power went out a few times. Right in the middle of my program. And the program is. Agents of Shield season two, episode eighteen. Yeah, we're almost done with it. We gotta find something new to watch. Yeah, we gotta wait till episode or season three comes out on Netflix. But there'll be other things. We've watched a lot of TV on Netflix from regular television. We're a season behind everybody else, but it's all new to us. That's right. And we're enjoying it. Well, because I like to be able to, I don't like to be left with cliffhangers. I like to be able to know what's going on so I can just click on the next video. The biggest problem is when we get to the, the last video of season two, we're going to be crying. Yeah. <laughs> going to wish we had season three. Listen to thunder in the background. We're going to get a good storm. Hear it? Wow. Uh-oh. Can you hold this for one minute? It's coming from Rochester way. Ooh, that my hair got in my eyes. Oh. It's moving in pretty fast too. We haven't had a whole lot of thunderstorms this year, like Oh, I love a good thunderstorm. They fall. Fall should bring them in. We get a real good one and the power goes out, we might as well come out and video it. <laughs> Won't be able to download it till the power comes back on. But.
coming over fast. Clouds are moving. I just saw the raindrop. So I stand under the porch. So I guess we did chores at the right time. We had a, our 15 minutes of fame in the... <laughs> did you get a thunder shower this afternoon? Uh, a little bit. It sprinkled a little bit at work. We're supposed to get hit pretty heavy tonight. And then it's going to clear up overnight. Achoo! Oh. Uh-oh. What? Oh, my, my death of, of the cold. Yeah. And see the tops of the trees? Sometimes you can tell how fast the wind is blowing by looking at the trees. Well, it's pretty still right now, so that yeah. means the storm's coming in pretty quick. It's like the eye of the hurricane. Everything calms down just before the knockdown storm hits. And what would we do if we couldn't all have YouTube for a few months? <laughs> Internet or anything else. We'd have to just have the memories. <laughs> you just have to be happy with what you got. And that's why they made books. That's right. Good to have books besides Kindle, huh? A few years back, I sat out here, and I was out at the back of the car, and you could see the storm coming towards oh, me no. down the road. You could see the... The road was all dry except for where it was heading for me, <laughs> and you could see the, the road getting wetter and wetter, getting closer and closer, and I got underneath the porch just as it hit. <laughs> I got up to this part. It was really weird. I never saw a storm like that. It looked like the rain cloud was just following the, well, the, winds are the road. The winds are increasing a little bit. Yeah, you can feel that in my face. You feel the sprinkles are coming on now. The leaves on the mountain ash are blowing around pretty good now, too. Lights are on in the cars. That means they probably got some rain. Or... Yeah, it's starting to get darker for them. <laughs> All right, we're going to go inside and... I'll grab a candle just in case. Yeah, you better get something because the power is going to go out. It's it? been so hot. It was in the 90s today again today. Well, the clouds aren't as black as I thought they were going to be. I felt the rain drop. Yeah, I felt a few of them. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have the high winds, tornado winds or anything. Yeah, we're... We don't usually get things like that, thank goodness. Uh, we have had some terrible storms here. Hummingbirds are still eating. Even if it's storming, we flew off. Yeah, they live on our porch pretty much now. They like the food and they sit. Sometimes they'll be in front of that window there too, which kitchen window. What? Oh. It was a bee. <laughs> the bees keep licking around the bottom of that hummingbird feeder. That's how I know it's real sweet and hummingbirds like it. Because it attracts the bees. They can't get into it. They try. Alright, this is Clay and Ruthie from Popel's Backyard Farm saying join us again and God bless.